Mokshaitan Yoga Sansthan had been there with you throughout this crucial journey of COVID-19. Millions of people all over the world were helped by Mokshaitan Yoga Sansthan through several ways. And we had shared a number of videos with all of you and treated a number of patients throughout the world. Mokshaitan Yoga Sansthan also came up as the first institute to provide the COVID prevention and management protocol, which was created by an expert team of allopathic doctors, yoga experts, diet experts, homeopathic and Ayurvedic experts. And through that protocol also, many people could save their lives. But danger is not over yet. We all have heard about the new strain. And traces have been found in several countries. There is probability and possibility that it might hit us somewhere in January and February. Well, we don't know what is there for us in future, but we all know what is happening right now in present. And what is happening right now is that we have stopped taking any kind of precaution. We have stopped yoga bhyas. We have stopped taking Ayurvedic diets. We have stopped taking Sattvic diet. We have started going in public. We have started living a life which is carefree from this virus. We don't know what is going to happen. Doctors and experts are not sure what are the symptoms, whether vaccine is going to work on this or not, whether it is going to hit us in January or February or March, what, or it is going to hit us or not. We don't know about it. All what is, we know is what we can do today. So I'm sharing 20 very simple ways through which you can prevent yourself, through which you can protect yourself. And you have to start it from today itself. These 20 tips are going to boost your immunity and you will be able to fight this virus. And you will. let's begin straight away. First is if you smoke, stop it right now. Because smoking means you have a low immune system. Smoking means your respiration is poor. Smoking means your lungs are not healthy. No proper breathing, no healthy lungs means an open invitation to diseases and infections and viruses. Second is take a diet which is high in fruits and vegetables. We have stopped eating healthy diet. We have stopped taking all those precautions we were taking since past two years, right? So switch back to your healthy diet and have a diet which is full of fruits and vegetables. I had always been very, very vocal on beginning your day with a fresh plate of fresh fruits and then having one plate of salad, fresh raw vegetables before your lunch and your dinner. Third is make sure that you practice yoga bhyas every day. Now, when I say yoga bhyas, of course, asan, pranayam, meditation, but also gatis, which are a kind of cardio exercise you're giving to your heart and to your body, but access of everything is wrong. Make sure you practice yoga bhyas every day, including Bharat yoga gatis. If you cannot practice yoga gatis, you can opt for some dancing, some walking, some jogging, some running, but let your heart stay healthy. But I would again uh, emphasize on it that access of everything is wrong third is uh, fourth is maintain a healthy weight these days there is a fad there is a trend of losing weight and people are on their weighing machine whole day oh today i have gained one kg today i have lost one kg this gaining and losing so frequently is not at all a good thing you need to maintain a healthy weight when i say maintain a weight don't think i'm 100 i'm going to be 100 kgs whole life no Maintain a healthy weight. Learn the science of losing weight and then maintaining a good weight. We have a special weight loss program of Mokshaita New York Sansthan, which is held every month, but seats are very, very limited, which is a unique combination of yoga, diet, and uh, um, mind therapy to lose and to maintain weight. So you can join that weight loss program. One of our free weight loss program is also available at Bharat Yoga YouTube channel. Go for that, but maintain a healthy weight weight if you really want to boost your immunity fifth is say no to alcohol and no to all those sh sugary drinks uh, which means switch to more water lukewarm water 
and say no to all these drinks containing whether it's a soft drink or hard drink containing so much of sugar and no to alcohol sixth is make sure that you take adequate sleep not too much of sleeping not too less of sleep sleep is the time when we heal and it's very very important that you take adequate sleep Seventh is minimize your stress. Oh, a new variant is there. Oh, how is it going to affect us? Oh, what is going to happen? Don't feel anxious and don't take stress of this. For that, regularly practice meditation. I will be sharing a link at the description box. This meditation, just put your headphones, listen to this sound, and this is going to relax you. Don't take any kind of stress. Eighth is take a sattvic diet. That was a time that we were not taking non-vegetarian food, we were not taking tamasic food, we were not taking cakes and biscuits and blah, blah, blah. Now we are back to normal routine. So switch to sattvic diet. Eat what you get from Mother Nature. Eat what is healthy for you. Eat what is natural so that you can boost your immunity. Ninth is add giloe, tulsi, ginger and cinnamon to your diet. You can make kada out of it. I have already shared the recipe of making this kara uh, description box uh, link will be shared make sure that you add this kara in your everyday diet now it's winters you can have it but again don't overtake it just half cup every day is more than enough tenth is take ample vitamin c now this is winter season you will be having so many oranges so take orange lemon carrot and beetroot best is to take carrot and beetroot juice uh, it is going to improve your hemoglobin level. It is going to improve your immunity. Uh, it is going to be helpful in fighting infections. Eleventh is take ample vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency means your weak immune system. For that, you can spend 20 to 30 minutes in sunlight, which is very, very important. Twelfth is generate some happy hormones. Let not your serotonin levels go down. Let not your happy hormones level go down. What you can do is to uh, improve your happy hormones. You must laugh four to five times a day. <laughs> Free laughter, 30 to 60 minutes, 60 seconds three to four times, four to five times every day. Thirteen is spend time outdoors. Spend time with Mother Nature if you want to boost your serotonin, if you want to have those happy hormones. So best is 30 to 40 minutes, stay in sunlight, walk on some gra green grass, spend time uh, with trees and in fresh air. That's very, very important if you want to boost your immunity. Fourteenth is oiling, proper oiling. For every machine, you need proper oiling. So put oil at body parts that start with N. So one is your nail. Uh, take a few drops of mustard oil. If you don't have mustard oil, you can take uh, coconut oil and just massage at your nails, your fingers and your toes, nails of your hands and your uh, toes. And also put one, one drop. And then, then uh, the second is navel. So Put a drop of oil in your navel every night before going to bed. And third is your nose. But don't put oil in your nose because uh, I would prefer you put cow ghee, pure cow ghee, which you eat, which you take in your everyday diet. Just put one, one drop in your both nostrils every night. I do it every night uh, and there is no side effect of it. Fifteenth is... Uh, this is the right time, plant those trees which emit oxygen 24 hours. Though we should have done it long back, but if you have not done it yet, make sure that you plant tulsi inside your house, which is very important, and people tree around your house, so that there is ample oxygen around you. Sixteenth is keep a practice of playing shank. Now, there are so many people who can't play shank, but even the procedure of playing shank will help you equally because it affects your entire respiratory system. So make sure that you play shank every single day. Seventeenth is that you practice yoga nidra every day. I will be sharing a link in the description box. Yoga nidra is a complete healing process and when your body and mind is relaxed, that is the time that your dead tissues are gone. That is the time that you heal. That is the time that you boost your immunity. So make sure you practice yoga nidra every single day. Eighteenth is make sure you follow the path of shuchita purity. 
wash your hands properly take bath every single day uh, make sure that you change your clothes and you dry your clothes in sunlight the washed clothes make sure you enter your house leaving your shoes outside and you wear some indoor sleepers make sure that you keep a social distance physical distance don't shake hands don't hug don't kiss publicly uh, make sure that uh, uh, you take all the necessary precautions you put mask while going in public which is very very important and shuchita purity is a part of yoga so make sure you follow the path of shuchita and 19th is that uh, it's very very important that you understand ati sarvatra varjayet access of everything is wrong all these 20 points we have shared don't do it in access live a normal life but adapt these things on your day to day life access of fearlessness is also wrong and access of fearful being fearful is also wrong 20th is there is a very very important part of yoga which is known as ishwar pranidhan leaving everything to the will of god don't be scared follow these 20 rules and then leave everything to the will of ishwar he is there to protect you as long as you have this strong will that he, i have done my best it's not that i am not doing anything but he is there to protect me do your best and then leave rest on him share this video with your loved ones share this video with all those you care for this is the right time we need to take these precautions our entire team really work hard for, so that these videos can come to you you can contribute by sharing these videos with your loved ones stay healthy stay happy to watch this video in hindi go to bharat yoga youtube channel and to continue watching all these videos in english stay at bharat yoga english